Hello, welcome to the Stoltz video training series. Today we will discuss why the display is reading no link. This means there's a loss of communication between the display and the I.O. board. To remedy this, you will need to address the display and I.O. board together. We will be demonstrating how to address the display and I.O. board for standalone setup. For today's demonstration, we'll be using the small bezel display. We begin by pressing the up, down, and enter keys together. As the address screen appears, press the enter button to move the cursor into the display address number. To change the display address setting, use the up arrow key. Change the number to 00, zero then press enter. The display will read display address changed. Turn power off to the I.O. board and then turn it back on. During power up, you will need to press the alarm and up arrow buttons together until the words self test please wait appear on the display. Once the I.O. address screen appears, change the desired number by using the up arrow button. The number 1 is used for standalone setup. The numbers 2 through 8 are used for PLAN grouping, also known as sequencing. You will then press the enter button once you have made your desired selection. Again, we press up, down, and the enter keys together to enter the addressing screen once more. Use your enter key to move the cursor into position. Change the display address to 32 for standalone by pressing the down arrow button. For PLAN grouping, you would enter the desired number for the corresponding unit in the sequence. Note, in a grouping setup, the sum of the I.O. board and the display must always equal 33. After entering your desired address number, press enter. No link will appear on the display. And we will again press the up, down, and enter keys together. Press the enter key twice to move the cursor into position. Change the I.O. board's address by using the up arrow key to make your desired selection. The words terminal config, press enter to continue will appear on the display. Press enter to continue. Change TRM1 to 32 or as needed. PR will remain the same. TRM2 will remain the same. TRM3 will remain the same. Move your cursor to the OK, No, and change the No to Yes by using the up arrow button. Press Enter to continue. As the main screen appears, you have now successfully completed the addressing of the E2 controller's display to the I.O. board. Please see the following chart for grouping details. Thank you very much for viewing and tune in to our next installment of the Stoltz Video Training Series. Mm -hmm.